Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov on Friday welcomed his North Korean counterpart Cho Sunhui at the Yaroslavsky railway station in Moscow, the ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova said on social media. The ministers attended the unveiling ceremony of a memorial plaque on the occasion of North Korean leader Kim Il-sung's visit to the USSR in 1949. Lavrov and Cho Sunhui are expected to hold talks later on Friday, Zakharova said. Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko called on the United States to remove nuclear weapons from Eurasian countries in order to create conditions for dialogue. Then we will not stay on the sidelines. I am replying to those who are worried today about the fact that we have tactical nuclear weapons deployed on the territory of Belarus, Lukashenko said addressing the Minsk International Conference on Eurasian Security on Thursday. Commenting on reports about North Korean troops in Russia, he said that no one has seen any North Koreans on the front line with Ukraine and accused Western countries of inflating this fact, which may lead to escalation. They are inflating it for what? To finally put pressure on the European Union and introduce NATO troops into this conflict in Ukraine. Otherwise, there will be defeat, Lukashenko said adding that both all conflict sides should sit down at the negotiating table without any preconditions. Speaking about parliamentary election in Georgia, the Belarusian president denied Russia's interference. They say it's Russia meddling into Georgian election, but Russia has nothing to do with it, I know this very well, it had nothing to do with it, Lukashenko said. Для реальной разрядки обстановки, создания условий диалога необходимо вывести американское ядерное оружие с территории стран Евразии. Этот смертоносный арсенал – анахронизм холодной Европы. Тогда и мы в стране не останемся. Это я отвечаю тем, кто сегодня переживает за то, что у нас размещено тактическое ядерное оружие на территории Беларуси. Держите противовесов привело к деградации безопасности во всех странах. Ну что сотворили грузины? Они хотят прозрачности в своей стране и в политике, и в экономике и так далее. Они приняли законная власть, приняла соответствующее решение на законодательном уровне. Что и при том один в один повторили то, что есть в Америке и даже мягче сделали. А они посоветовали заранее. А проснулся дядя Джо там или еще кто-то там в Евросоюзе и не так подумал, не так посмотрел, уничтожает страну. Вот Россия и все. До России никакого отношения. Я это хорошо знаю. Не имела никакого отношения. Я извиняюсь, может что-то не так, но это уже ваше было решение. Опасно. Сегодня одна из особенностей эскалации конфликта. Почему ухватились за неких северокорейцев и прочее, хотя на линии фронта ни россияне, ни украинцы, ни мы их там не видим. А как помогает там Северная Корея, Беларусь, об этом знают только Россия и мы. Но это грозит эскалации. Они этот, раздувают этот факт. Они его раздувают для чего? Чтобы окончательно надавить на Европейский Союз и увести войска НАТО в этот конфликт. В противном случае будет поражение. Западной мягкой силы, НКО. Нам в Европе это надо? Нам это не надо. Это ни России, ни Украине, ни нам, и вам тоже, Евразийскому континенту, это не нужно. Но опасность велика. Поэтому сегодня, прежде чем выдвигать какие-то с одной другой стороны концепции и, как это называется у них, план победы или еще чего-то, все это возможно, даже глупости. Но надо сесть за стол переговоров. 
без предварительных условий. Стоит национально ориентир. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky said on Wednesday there were not enough loud voices against the North Korean presence in Ukraine. The voice of Western partners, the voice of the global South and China is not so loud as it has to be now about North Korean contingent on the territory of Russia. I think it's very dangerous. It opens the new page in this war, Zelensky told Nordic journalists in Iceland. Zelensky also complained that confidential parts of his victory plan were leaked to the media. They say that Ukraine wants or wanted a lot of missiles, like tomahawks and etc., but it was confidential information between Ukraine and White House. How to understand these messages? So, it means, between partners there is no any confidential things, he said. Commenting on Ukraine's incursion into the Russian Kursk region, Zelensky said Ukraine didn't plan to gain control over Kursk nuclear power plant. They said in the Western media that we are trying to occupy some plants, some energy systems, some nuclear stations. No. We didn't even try, Zelensky told journalists. Talking about his victory plan, Zelensky said that while many allied countries began to accept the plan, some see it as asking for too much. We want to live. Is it too much just to live? That's it, he said. Do you, um, are North Korean soldiers already operating on the ground, on the battlefield? The voice of Western partners, the voice of Global South and China is not so loud as it has to be now about North Korean contingent on the territory of Russia. I think it's very dangerous. It opens the new page in this war. Donbass was occupied and after eight years of two lands of Ukraine, two parts of our land, you see what's going on now in, in media. They said that Ukraine wants or wanted a lot of missiles like Tamagovsk and etc. And uh, the, but it was confidential information between Ukraine and White House. How to understand these messages? So it means between partners, there is no any confidential things. A US election where the possibility that the Republican Party might come back to power and I know we've discussed this before. They said in the Western media that we are trying to occupy some plants, some energy systems, some nuclear station. No, we didn't even try. And setting the uh, uh, American elections aside, are you not worried about decreasing support in Western Europe? And a lot of countries began to tell us, you know, a little, a, a little bit pressure on us, they said, from some leaders. Yes, because you want too much. Too much for what? We want to live. Is it too much? Just to live. That, that's it. That's about victory plan. That's about the north. That's about the east. It's about close cooperation. Russia thinks that they are very strong. But if we wanted to occupy their nuclear station, we did it. We could, did, we could do it. But we never wanted it and divide the support, divide